<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We, actually, wherever you are, this is yeah. Facebook Friday. Good, good day. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, afternoon. Good night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the way I feel sometimes yeah. in the morning. It's good night. Good night. That's right. Exactly. This morning seems like one of those mornings for me. So. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. Some mornings I wake up just fine. Like this morning, I'm mm -hmm. good. You know, but yeah. you had an issue this morning? I woke up several times during the night. Uh, so, yeah. You don't like that, losing any kind of sleep. No, and it seems to be happening more and more often. So, oh, yeah, yeah. that sounds so depressing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> we should be good. I'm wondering if anybody's there. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Good thank morning. Goodness. Thank goodness, Patty. You know, I think that we have that so often <laughs> with our old computer that we're still on tenterhooks, <laughs> wondering if somebody's there. Exactly. Is anybody <laughs> listening out there? Good morning, Patty and Roxy. Good, good morning. morning. And Sherry. It looks like, oh, that's of course not going to happen by itself, no, is it? I think you have to start it and then it seems to start moving faster or what something What do you mean like start that. it? Like what do you do? You scroll. Yeah. Start yeah. scrolling? Yeah. Kathy Bird, Loretta, yay! And maybe it won't. Susie McClung, no. Jennifer, Jennifer Watson, <laughs> <and all. laughs> Hello everyone. We are very happy today because our sunshine is back. Yes, we had back, but we, cool. Yeah, it was lovely and cool this morning. Yes. I actually yeah. slept through the night. Yeah. I don't do very well with the heat. I, I think you're well, pretty good with the heat, aren't well, you? Well, I've got a um, a fan right beside my bed, so I get the I fan. I do too. Yeah, but that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. Hi, Viv. <laughs> good to see you. Morning, Viv. Uh, Heather Hopkins and Patricia Readout. Yep, that's lovely. Good afternoon, of course, over there in Nova Scotia. Um, Lisa's looking at me thinking, what the heck am I going to yeah. talk about today? And we, usually we write something down. Yeah, you've got all the stuff over by you. So yeah. well, I've got a few things yeah. over here. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do this weekend? I mean, the, sorry, this, this week. This week? Mm -hmm. uh, well, training um, a young girl to possibly do some packaging. So that was um, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I just need her to say, Lisa, you know, instead of I hear, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep on saying, Lisa! <laughs> well, I guess what she really doesn't want to do is interrupt you because you're always busy. I and am. You've got your back to yeah. her. So she's kind of very tentative. But really, I can understand when you're a young girl, 14 right. years old. Yes. But she's learning pretty quickly, I she think, is. right? So yes. let's hope that her actual um, shipping skills will uh, improve to the point where she, yeah. we can have her come in every day. That's right. And that way yeah. our shipping is caught up to date every single yes. day. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes. Yeah. Because sometimes we get the feeling that, you know, um, uh, not the feeling, the reality is that we can't always. It's every other day or yeah. when people are in. So yes. hopefully then when she comes in, then we can do really important other stuff. Yes. 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 And Kate Burzook is here and Sandy Werbitsky. Hello. Hello, Kathleen. Kathleen is here. That's lovely. Again, I'm looking around and I'm seeing nothing else still so i guess we're just not going to be able to see those numbers no no there's nothing there that says how many people are watching today so no. but how um how what else did you do this week as far as victoria sampler stuff as, is concerned as well as victoria sam oh, i've done some bookkeeping not a lot and i'm working on a revamping a stitch along and to make it into a creative design and yeah that's so, going to take a little while isn't it yeah, that's right exactly um, our yes. original one the little um what was it called Hall the halloween bookmark yes that's it that one i was just really winging it and you, it was the very no first tracks. one yeah <laughs> Like, hey, where's all that stuff? No information. So. <laughs> no information at all. I was just cobbling stuff together, and then I thought, oh, that looks nice. And, and it turned out to be such a hit, uh, having yeah. a stitch Ab along. Absolutely. That I went ahead and did some more. But then I left records. That's right. You know, yes. so that we You re revamped them. I think what you did is you had the original first one, and then you just changed it. 
And That's right. Kept on saving it as the newest one. Exactly. Yeah. So she's trying to cobble together what I actually put in there, even though we've got the last one. That's right. Which is With, good. Without putting too much time and effort into it. <laughs> but it's ending up being a lot of time and effort so far. So. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well is right. I'm not complaining. Uh -huh. Just a little. <laughs> well, the problem with us is we get really obsessed. Okay. So we're looking we do. for one yeah. stitch that That's we right. have yes. a diagram for. <laughs> and I mean, it's stupid. We can make the diagram again. That's it's right. It's not a big deal. Yes. But somehow we want to get that diagram. And we've looked in other designs yeah. and we just can't seem to find where Re that one diagram is. Recognize the stitch. <laughs> recognize it. Don't even remember what it's called. No. That's <laughs> Anyways, that's, it's that's been so a funny. little challenging. Well, we found this out last night because Lisa said, oh, let's do this, this, and this, and that was fine. And then she was working on this other, the, the Halloween bookmark. And she said, I can't find it. What, do you know what this is? I said, no, I don't know. And what's really funny is we both recognize it. We know I can it's picture somewhere. it. I can picture yeah. the colors. But I can't recall which design it's from. That's right. So, okay. So, that's fine, right? I don't even, we don't even have to use that that's stitch. Right. But we're what's gonna alter interesting it. <laughs> is that we started looking, we were doing something else entirely. Yes. And, and before we, both we knew it, <laughs> we had to stop because it gets so... Compulsive. Yes. Yeah. You know, we have to find it now. Yes, that's right. Anyway, I guess I'm bound to determine to find <laughs> where this stitch is. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling on the weekend you're going to be like obsessing. I am, <laughs> exactly. That could be why I didn't sleep that well. I'm thinking about this silly stitch. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, Kathleen says hello from Maryland and Carol's from um, afternoon from sunny Florida. Florida, yeah. Donna's in oh, sunny Berkeley. This awesome. Morning. Thanks, Donna, for that great uplifting weather report. <laughs> Jean Morrison is from Atlanta. Cynthia and uh, Trisha. Trisha, hello, thank you for 24. Good morning, And of Wanda. course that will have changed, but I am delighted to hear that there's a number more people than said hello to begin with. So thank you. Wanda's here, Jennifer Gowan. Thank you. Yep. Actually, I think yep. there's only one. Oh no, you've got your beautiful I've, I've necklace. I've got my usual necklace that I always wear. Thanks so. for noticing, Jennifer. Thank you. you know, that's one thing that Jennifer <coughs> often does is she yeah, notices she does. something about us. It's complimentary. Thank you. <laughs> and it's so sweet of you yeah. to do that because it just boosts our self-esteem yeah. and our confidence. Exactly. So thank you. Louise Fossa says hello. hello. And Loretta, of course, uh, announces. 20. Oh, 25. Yeah. <laughs> thank it you changes. all. Oh, you yeah. guys are so cute. And for some reason, I don't know why that's obsessive. They need, yeah. needed for me. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. We've got you all Ab here. Absolutely. But for yeah. some reason, having that, uh, just a gentle number, that kind of gives us a, the size of our group. That's right. Do you who, kind of picture... Who, who are we talking to? Exactly. Yeah. Do you kind of we, picture the group in front of you? Absolutely. And you not do. everybody posts and says hello. So, you know. Exactly. Which we're not pressure. No <laughs> pressure. Right. No pressure. <laughs> but it is kind of fun to see, um, in my mind's eye, as soon as someone comes in and I kind of have a visual yeah. of that person... Kind of, because I don't know your faces, all of you, but I have your names. They're kind of all spread like a yeah. little... Like a classroom. Know, like an like that, audience yeah. or a classroom. <laughs> it's really cool. Tanya's here. Thank you. You're lovely yourself. Deborah Trimble. Hello. Norma Farrow. Aw. Thank you. And Kathy yeah. Lamp and Mary Hawthorne. So far, so yeah. good. Absolutely. Well, what did I do this week? Hmm... I, I know that I did. I, I've been learning tech like you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. I feel like I'm I'm no longer a designer. I am now doing, you know, so many things in technology. <laughs> and it's not like I really want to necessarily, but there's still just a few more things, things. to do. Yeah. And once those are done, that's what they all say, though, isn't Exactly. It? Then we can get back <laughs> to the other stuff. And we've got new um, staff members coming in, so yeah. that will help with that as well yeah we have a lovely uh a new person who's coming in i think by next week if, Tuesday, she's, yep. if you're watching elaine hello uh elaine was part of the facebook group already uh during the COVID times yep. and uh, she has decided to um move on and not and sort of semi-retire which means that she doesn't work as full-time as yes. she now did but she retired from that 
and has just uh, come on board. We're not sure how it's all going to work out, but we welcome her as a new staff member. So if you're listening, hello. Yes. <laughs> and that's going to be kind of an interesting week next week. That's right. <laughs> because we also still have Monet coming. That's absolutely. In the afternoon. Yeah. And Monet is our, what, 14-year-old yes. uh, late girl yeah. who's really smart and really good. Yeah. Uh, but we're both kind of unused to training someone who's it, as exactly. young as she is. And I'm not training her, but you're doing an awesome yeah. job. Oh, honestly. thank you. You should have heard her <laughs> yesterday. Now, Monet, you do this. And you do, and because you have to do very specific so, Yes things right yeah. it's like she's used to school and she aces school no e problem exactly i said one thing <laughs> the other day and i said okay t tell me what is wrong with this packaging and i could see her kind of go like this and i went oh god oh no i guess the word wrong was not in her vocabulary <laughs> <That's> exactly <laughs> it's like okay maybe i should have chosen a different word than wrong incorrect no, no no i wouldn't say correct or incorrect i probably would say what part of this is um no i don't know what yeah. i'd say <laughs> wrong is not the one uh, there's another word though um uh, oh i know go positive instead so how could you improve this? So there's a word uh, improve. Yeah. That could work anyway. Yeah, it we'll work. doesn't matter. Yeah. Once in a while, she's going to yeah. have to hear the word wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, good. And Mary, good morning. And oh, Linda Perry is there. Sorry, Linda yeah. Perry Chiarvino yeah. of Detroit. Yeah. It's a great name. I'm not very good at pronouncing it. <laughs> Lynn Vichick. And... Oh, you are so welcome. B says hello. Good morning. Linda says, How can you improve? Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah Linda that's says, good. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway, always the positive um, tends to make people kind of lift up. I know that somebody says, If you've done something wrong, you know, and I go, No, not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. We are all perfectionists. Absolutely. Particularly yeah. as stitchers. Hello, Tammy, yeah. driving <laughs> driving to the library with the kids, I'm sure. <laughs> yep. Anyway, and the other thing that I did this week is I released that free pattern, but it was mainly for um, YouTube people who have never actually, they don't know anything. Mm -hmm. They know some cross-stitch, but like you guys saw this right away, of course, because you do specialty stitching or you, you wouldn't yeah. be here. But um, there are a lot of cross stitches in the world who aren't familiar with uh, what I call now sampler stitching because yes. it's easier to say than specialty stitching. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and they are sampler stitches. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Anyway, so I say that now. And um, we were kind of encouraging people who have not yet um, stitched on linen. Yes. Right? And a lot of people mm -hmm. are still on ADA. So we're encouraging that and encouraging seeing that there's more than one stitch in the stitching vocabulary yes so like uh, cross stitching is a great basis you know you can get yep. pictures with them mm -hmm. and little pixels but if you are um, also interested in stitching itself the texture and the various ways that the needle can make a pattern mm -hmm. out of thread Absolutely. I mean it's amazing yeah. and there's so many and they all have histories and they're exciting and fun to learn and once you get going you go why didn't I do this before mm -hmm. so anyway that's what that video is for is for those people to get used to um, the idea and then take the courses exactly take the beginner courses and, and what the courses are like mm -hmm. you know you give them a little sample of exactly. the video yeah courses so. yeah I was thinking yeah. taking that video part out that um, the part where I'm teaching the the, the three stitches yes. If I take that out and make that a free course in the academy. Absolutely. Now that might be good because then yeah. you get to know what the academy looks like. Yes. Anyway, encouraging people to do this is so hard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we'd make it um, something that is a good offer so that people feel, oh, I think I'm ready to learn. And I can learn that too. Yeah. So. Anyway, so thank you. It wasn't about the free pattern, although that was a nice free pattern. Yeah. <laughs> it was a nice free pattern. <laughs> Thanks, Wanda. Thanks, uh, Beverly. Hi, and Tammy. Ta oh, yeah. Okay, we're fine. So anyway, yep. that's how um, that all evolved, and that took a, t a long time to figure out how to create all that. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Yes. I'm still not done with that yeah. yet. <laughs> no, we have some videos to generate coming up. 
yeah, I've got to do in the academy. I want to do the Beyond Cross Stitch um, levels oh, four, five, five, and, and six, six, and those yes. are going to be toughies. Yes, because they are, take a lot more time and effort. To yes, cutting and absolutely weaving yeah. and all that in front of the camera. So I've kind of been putting it off a little yeah, bit. Uh, yes. <laughs> You've been busy with other things too. Yeah, so. but won't it be nice if I get started this Monday? Will you make me do one at least? Well, I will be here Monday, so yeah. Oh well, in that case, you can't. <laughs> oh yeah, you're going to be away on holiday. I, I, I have a holiday, um, but it's um, I'm going to the dentist, so you know. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> what a holiday! <laughs> going to the dentist, and it's my anniversary that day. I. Oh, 20, 29 you and never year. mentioned that. No, I did not mention that. No. no. Happy anniversary, <laughs> you. you and Bob. How yeah. many years? 29. She's getting near the yeah. 30. That's exciting. That's, yes. And what yep. are you going to do on your anniversary? I don't know. <gasps> you haven't made plans? Oh, no, it's no. Bob's turn to make plans, right? Oh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll be waiting for a while on that one. So. Yeah. I think maybe you better take yeah. the, you know, the reins. Well, I kind of said last night, oh, by the way, I have Monday off, <laughs> August 10th. <laughs> and he goes, oh, okay. And then he kind of went, oh, isn't that our anniversary? <laughs> yes. So he got the warning, and now he's doing very little. Right? Well, yeah, I, I can't see too much happening, but anyways. Well, you yeah. might, like, discuss it on yeah, the weekend. I might discuss it I mean, on the, the weekend, whole, exactly. The whole idea of an anniversary surprise is already out the window. Well, out the window. <laughs> Any kind of surprise, you know, that's... Uh, well, I recommend not going to the uh, Ten Acres I know, restaurant. I that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there are other restaurants around. There are other restaurants. So, so Kathy Bird said my video was very well done. Thank yeah. you, Kathy. I really tried hard not to sound like an automaton reading anything. Yeah. But I forget some of the things I wanted to say, so I'd look down once in a while. But thank you. No, I, the video was really good. Yeah, that's really nice. And that kind of video, hopefully mm -hmm. a little bit more teaching about other things other than uh, just the stitch itself. Yeah, like actually relating to people. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be yeah, absolutely getting into. And Lisa is yeah. also going to make some extra videos. Yes. Exciting. Yeah. Once my time is freed up a little bit, then... Oh, no, just do it anyway. Just, just do it anyway? Just forget about yeah. all the rest of the work. I, I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> and I made the mistake this morning of coming in and looking at emails, and I should not do that. No, that's why we're so looking forward yeah. to having Elaine, because she'll take some of those that's things right. off Lisa's it, plate. Exactly. So. And Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer yeah. Gowan, you got the number there. Thank Great. you. And thanks, Wanda. Aw, anniversary. Anne is here. She made it. Good for you. And Johnson Kendall. Linda says, I like a variety of stitches, but the idea of cut work scares me. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Right? Absolutely. It scares a lot of people. And it's really not as scary as you think it is. No, there's all sorts of safeguards in yep. place that you can fix mm -hmm. and that you can do all sorts of things. But it's true. The fear is there for everyone. Absolutely. After all, especially yep. counted stitchers, yeah. Like things perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and we exactly. don't want to have any messy stuff. Yeah. So anyway, I remember listening to um, Sue at Stitcher's Hideaway. If you're here, Sue, I know you'll remember this. In the classroom where we were, and she was first learning how to do hard anger uh, herself. Okay. And she hadn't done it before. And she said, oh, this is hard anger. Oh, I get it. It's hard <laughs> anger. anger. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting all frustrated, yeah. which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> And then she also said something about, oh, we've got the window right open here. Yeah. I guess I'll have to get up and move that. And one. close it? Because yeah. they're now cutting the lawn and out front or the neighbor? I have no I think, idea. I think it's the neighbor. It's yeah. so awful. I hate yeah. lawn cutters. Yeah. Anyway, uh, she said something else about um, the Hardinger. And I think it was, it reminded her of a movie that she'd seen before. And that movie was when somebody goes, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Not that! I've forgotten exactly what the movie was. Oh good, they're gone away. Yeah. They anyway. moved to a different location. Yeah. Hard, hard anger itself is is uh, just a joy uh, to do. And I never like doing like enormous amounts of it. I just yes. like a little touch. Yeah. A little touch here yeah. and there. I, I like the little touches too. I think I had, um, I started one of your uh, other, another designers who does a lot of mm -hmm. hard anger. Mm -hmm. 
and I got all the stitching done except for the hard iron, and then now it's been in the box for a few years. So <gasps> it's time to take it out. I know, but there's so much hard iron. That's all that's left. So <laughs> it's a hard iron and big sections of it. Yeah. So. Well, one of those big sections, I know, I think I know who you're talking yeah. about, and, and she does really beautiful work. Beautiful work. But some of that hard anger is not the normal hard anger. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close the door. You're going to close that now? Because they are getting loud. Yeah. Yeah, we won't be able to hear. It's Wait. already bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> When the when the window is closed. <laughs> anyway, some of that hard anger it can get really um, uh, annoying because it's it's got the the part that's the very lacy edge. Yeah, that's the part that I mean I stay away from that kind of thing mm -hmm. because it means you have to fiddle and pin things down on yeah. your pillow and stuff. And good for you for starting it. Yeah, I mean really <laughs> well done. <laughs> Donna says happy anniversary. Thank you, Donna, and and Jean, Jean, and Loretta. Oh, good. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Cynthia. That's so sweet. And Loretta says she was married 29 years oh, ago. Oh, in, in April. April. Exactly. Hello, Dory Davis. Nice to see you, too. Yep. Sunny and hot. Hot. Mm, we've got sunny and cool. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, hard anger. Exactly. I think I'll have to put that in the videos. <laughs> Kathy says the historical background about the different samplers was very interesting. Thank you. It's yeah. the part that also fascinates me, mm -hmm. and I have not included enough of it in any of my teaching. And I think that, you know, it would, wouldn't that be wonderful to be able to kind of explore a sampler, see what happens, mm -hmm. and why people did things, and, you know, why the, the kind of stitching that I remember uh, reading about with the guilds, with, which were mainly formed by men in the, <laughs> in the 15, mm -hmm. 1600s, mm -hmm. Those men had all the embroidery locked down because they wanted to make the money. And as soon as the money part went out of it, because embroidery was done also by the way things were woven and bringing in silks, etc., from China and India, mm -hmm. so there wasn't as much um, hand embroidery being done, then they left it to the women. <laughs> so there's a whole women's aspect to embroidery that I find fascinating. Yeah. Uh, Cynthia says, I love Hardanger. Dory so also Dory. loves it. Yes, it is so pretty and nice. Yes. And I think that it's going to be fun to do the Beyond Cross Stitch. But I have to say, I am kind of looking forward to doing one a day. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I do more than that, I think it might be a little Absolutely. bit much. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Donna Granger, thank you, thank you, thank you for the amount of stitching you did to get it all prepared oh, for yes. me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because uh, honestly, I can't imagine even starting that yeah. video project without that pre-stitching you've yes. done so important and so appreciated i am actually looking forward to bringing out your first um level four piece yes. that you had done mm -hmm. so everyone donna's done a number of things um behind the scenes yeah. for us and uh, you know the gratitude knows no bounds your stitching is gorgeous and and so i never have a feeling that oh this is going to be you know a problem yes. for me it's yeah. just always just right there ready for me to start videoing so thank you and Let's see, what else were we going to talk about? Oh, mm -hmm. stitches. Oh, yes. We have some stitches today. I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. No, no one, Thank everybody's kind of quiet today. Yeah, they're listening, yeah. you know, kind of. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, God, are these two ever going to be quiet? Yeah. <laughs> Never. Not a chance. I, as a matter of fact, Bob quite often says, he says to me, quiet. And I said, Nate, <laughs> not going to happen. Ever. Uh, no, you've <laughs> got to keep your voice up. That's right. I mean, when we're older and we're in the age home, we have to be sure to tell them what it is we want. That's right. right. Exactly. And if you're like all really yeah. nice and everything, yeah. you don't say anything, you just get treated terribly. Yep. I'm just kidding. Me being quiet is never going to happen. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the stitch that we're featuring today mm -hmm. is the herringbone. Yes. And it's in the level one herringbone stitch. Mm -hmm. Level one, because we are encouraging people to learn level one beyond cross stitch. Yeah. And the level one, really, the stitches are pretty simple. They are. But they still, for someone who's never done them, it, it can be a little um, challenging, a little scary, maybe at first. Yeah. And it's also like, how the heck do you do it? How do yeah. you start? How do you count it? Nobody kind of does that by themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the Victoria Sampler uh, Academy, mm -hmm. where you take the courses, will teach you how to do that. 
And there is a special on right now. You guys all know that, but I just thought if somebody's watching this, um, there's the, the the two courses. The two beginner courses are together as one price. Mm -hmm. Really good mm -hmm. price. It anyway. is a really good price. <laughs> it really is. Um, the happy birthday is what this one is. This one features the herringbone. Whoa. There we go. So you can see the herringbone goes all the way around in the blue, around the outside where my nail finger is as well. And let's see, the pattern itself, I don't think it's a big mystery, is it? No. Nope. But one of the good things about this pattern is it shows you the step-by-step -step way to get started. So the pattern itself is included in the in the um, Beyond Cross Six Level One course on mm -hmm. the in the academy, and you can see how to get started and even each stitch step by step going from there to there. So those things are available also in the PDF in the courses, and I wanted you to get to know that. Oh, we and we also have the pattern um, exactly linen. It comes with the linen, a needle. And the threads, and you get a nice charm with it. You get a little charm, and that goes all together. Thank you. So the reason we chose that one is partly because it was in level one, but also one is the, the thing that we're going to try and do, and maybe Elaine will help us with this, is we're going to set up a database that shows, or an Excel spreadsheet or something, that shows um, by the stitch which designs have that stitch in them. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. will be really fun because we were looking today and it's not yeah. easy to well, find. Well, trying to find that mystery stitch <laughs> that we both recognize, we have no idea where for it instance. is. For instance. So it's going to be helpful. really interesting. <laughs> so the first one that we found was this one. I think you found this one, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. hard to show the detail about it, but let's see. Where's the herringbone here? Here is the herringbone. Uh, oh, is this the plate stitch up above there? No, that's cross stitches. I know the herringbone is here. It's got to be Where here. Where is it? Okay. Oh, no. Now silly. we can't even find the herringbone. Yeah. Hang on. Was that you that found it? I think it I was. Don't know. Or was it you? We're just going to blame we're, Lisa. We're just, yeah, blame me. Yeah. Did you find yeah, it yet? It's right the top band. Oh, it's the very top band, of course. It's going to be the hardest <laughs> to show. Okay. Because it's got beads in it, and it oh, doesn't really look right. like the herringbone. But that it is a herringbone one there. there. That's right, it's green and it's got beads and you can mm -hmm. barely see that it's a herringbone. Yeah. But anyway, a herringbone that's a little more easy to see is on this one. I think so. Does this, let me just have a look as well. I think it has the, let me have a look here. Where is you it? You don't know what it is yet, you guys, and you're just dying to find no, out. No, that, that one's that's got, got the beads stick. too. <laughs> it does. Down at the bottom, but it also has a plate stitch. Well, well, that's good because we want to talk about that. There, you can see the herringbone part much more yeah. easily. Let's see if I can just back off a little bit. So, to get it in focus, is it in focus yet? No. Well, Almost. it's good enough. Yeah. Anyway, you can see underneath the table scene, there is a little herringbone in green just above the heart hanger. And I'll just show you the entire thing. By the way, this Thanksgiving sampler is now got a PDF. Uh, this weekend, I just put it up. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. kind of it's going to be in your uh, mail out so that you'll see it. The Thanksgiving sampler is so amazing. It it was so much love put into this one, and also I taught it as well, so it became really detailed. I couldn't stop putting stuff in. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of uh, grew, didn't it? It kind of did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the Thanksgiving sampler is um, now a PDF. Just so you all know, remember I asked if you would tell us uh, which ones you wanted to make into PDFs. Well, I took all the names of all of the things people suggested, except for when you went all the Christmas designs, yeah. please. Because, <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> we have a lot. We have a lot of Christmas designs, absolutely. <laughs> and that totally makes sense. But and the specific designs that people mentioned, and this is the first one, I think, was Thanksgiving. And what was the other one? Um... Mm. A harbor, harbor village. Oh, what's that? Is that here or is that upstairs? I uh, think it's upstairs. That, harbor yeah. village. Someone wanted harbor village, so yes, you got it. And then um, I think summer 
Garden huh? is going to mm -hmm. be released. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you'll see the email. I can't remember them all, but the ones that are on the list are getting ticked off. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted you to know, I'm reassured. <laughs> and I think the next time I'm going to ask a question like that is to ask you for which techniques. Remember we started talking about picots yeah. mm -hmm. and we talked about um, um, French knots, I think, at one point. Things that people don't always get the the full import of because they are difficult to do yeah oh yeah i know the edges of hem stitching yeah you know where you weave back the threads of the linen Absolutely. into the linen itself that technique we used to have that on a, an animation animation yeah so yeah. if you wouldn't mind starting the ball rolling at some point write down the stitches and the techniques that you're interested in learning including finishing techniques because guess what? Lisa's yeah. going to be making some. Um, so I'll, I'll make sure that if you write it down, then I'm going to set up the question. Absolutely. Because we sure don't want to have you try to answer here now because we're, it'll get lost. So even if you answer here now, write it again when I put it in the question. Because the question is going to be, what techniques, finishing or stitching, would you like us to make videos about? Mm -hmm. And yes. really... And then we have a list yeah, of stuff. I've st stuff to work on. Yeah, so it'll be really nice. And for us to know what it is you want is way more important than to give you what we think. Yeah, you should that's have. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aw, Donna, thank you. And Kathy says 37 watching. Yay. Patty says thank you for the lovely free design. You're welcome. And Wanda says yeah. yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beautiful Those are flowers. beautiful flower arrangements. Yes. Thank you. They've been around for a while. Yeah, they, yeah. Did, they never die. Yeah, they never <laughs> die. They actually might be a little dusty, but that's okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dory. They are kind of nice, and they kind of give you the Green. atmosphere. Yeah, right? color, some color behind us. You know, speaking of fake flowers, they're, they're, my mom, I was going to say my grandmother, she was quite a bit older than the usual mothers were, but my former mother-in-law, um, when she was uh, younger, had loved these fake flowers. I don't know where that comes from, but it's like a mania. So she had fake flowers all over her oh. gorgeous apartment. Oh. I mean, she's modern and everything <laughs> else. But these fake flowers were essential to her being. Yeah. <laughs> so she had this fake flower arrangement on the... They owned a boat, quite a big boat, and, and they had this flower arrangement right up just in front of the wheel that her oh. husband would try uh -huh. to, and he's always looking over the top. I said, can't you get rid of that one time? He says, no, on pain of death. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to move. <laughs> I don't know if any of you really love fake flowers. I just love them here because they're easy and don't have to yep. get new ones and all that stuff. But if you like flake flowers, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really bad at keeping plants in the house. Oh, me too. I yeah. just, I, I'm just not good at it. I forget them. Yeah. No, so I, I leave all okay that up. With cactus. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, yes, exactly. I one time my aunt said, "Here's a jade plant. You cannot kill it." You did. <laughs> oh didn't yeah. You? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me a thing that I have to. <laughs> yeah, taking care of those things as well as everything else you, you yeah. like to take care of. Anyway, I agree. Uh, Jennifer says, "Did I miss your video? You're talking about maybe. Um, you can certainly look in uh, Facebook. Yeah, in the group." At the top of the page, it has something called announcements or mm -hmm. um, special announcement. And and there might be two announcements there. So you click on that link at the top of the uh, comments, right underneath the header picture. And there it will say C or whatever. If you're on an iPad particularly, it's not very obvious. But that is a video. And you may also find that same video on YouTube. Yes. In yeah. fact, you will see yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but the video is linked to, or the, the link beside it is what's important because that'll take you to the page where you will get the free pattern download yeah. and the opportunity to take two courses for much less price yes. than we have it. Donna Granger says, herringbone stitch in all variations is one, isn't it? Yeah, I love doing the herringbone stitch too. We were going to talk about the plate stitch because it's essentially yeah. it's, the same it's very, thing. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, same same motions to do it. It's just uh, closer together. It, exactly. Yeah. You're kind of crossing over a mm -hmm. bit more. 
let's see if we can find a um, yeah, we weren't going to really feature the plate stitch, frankly, because we couldn't find them so easily this yeah, morning. That's right, exactly, yes. I'm sorry. i got to get this out. There we go. There you go. So she's going to just pull out the, the diagram for the plate stitch, because you'll see exactly. plate stitch, yeah, okay, sure, is on, let's celebrate, 110. So level one, number 10, which is celebrate. Mm -hmm. And okay, so there's a couple of different um, diagrams for the plate stitch. Yeah, there's this one down here is this one here. This yeah. one down here mm -hmm. shows the plate stitch in little. Yeah, and it actually, if you just bring it up a little closer okay. so that we can see it better, is the diagrams themselves show you that it's not the usual kind of arrangement yeah. of a herring bone. Of a herring bone. You know, they're they're closer to they're actually sharing holes exactly where a herringbone is usually spaced a couple of fabric threads apart from each other. Very still well crossing, said. but they're yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's the same action. Yeah. You're still doing this. Yes, it's just like you say. There's you're sharing holes and makes it much more dense. Absolutely, it gives it quite a, a thicker um, line. Mm -hmm. I do have one here. We knew how to find this one because it started with a P. You did, and but remember, <laughs> it's also on this one as well. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. We get to share that one. Let's see if I can find it. I take my glasses off when I'm looking. <laughs> Where did we put? Don't the ask stitch? us to why. Oh, because I'm nearsighted, not farsighted. I think we got. Oh, the right, top one. Right there. Right okay. there. It's almost indistinguishable in because it's over two fabric threads. Mm -hmm. Indistinguishable from the. It, it, it ends up being like a, a thick line almost. Yeah, the line underneath these pansies is actually the plate stitch. Mm -hmm. I don't think it focuses very well. But if you're doing the plate stitch over more than just two fabric threads, mm -hmm. you're doing them over like four, four, then you can really tell the difference. Uh, absolutely. I just like them because they're fun. Now, where is the one in here? Um... Now I have to remember where's the pattern right here. Okay, she's going to find it in Stitch yeah. and Witches, which I will show you from a part, from a side. I think this one's already a PDF as well. Stitch and Witches was really popular, and uh, I'm sorry, I should say is really popular. Is, yeah. So you may or may not find the ACK pack for this one. And then at the bottom, you see this part here. Okay, now I have to look at the diagrams. Where the heck is it? And it was an inspiration also for the next uh, design that's going to come out, which is called Scary Stitches. The Scary Stitches is coming out in September, right? It is, exactly. Which is like just a month away. So I take it back. There's one just called a plated stitch, but it's not the plate stitch. So it's... Ah, no, it's yeah, kind of like a... Not, not quite the same. Sorry kind of like that. Kind of like a knit stitch, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, anything plated looks um, uh, very similar. Yes. It just makes it more like, you know, it's woven together. Uh, but you get to see the stitch in witches after all, which is yes. cool. I don't perfect, think there's any Perfect others. one to maybe start this time of year as well. Uh -huh. Turn on the fan now that the window is closed. Closed. You're warming up. I don't know what it is. I think I was born an Eskimo. Oh. <laughs> and I'm saying that. not. I'm not saying the proper word. I should, I should have said Inuit. But back in the day, people would say, oh, take us a little Eskimo. Because I just get hot. Oh, like it doesn't yeah. matter whether I've lost weight or gained. I still you get still hot. You still got the same temperature. Yep. Well, yeah. I think my preferred temperature is about 65 degrees. Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then I'm totally comfortable. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Trisha says, you know I'm a trivia nut, so I want to see what the mystery stitch looks like. So I can find it. Uh, oh, maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> we'll show it to you next time. We'll, we'll send you an email, and then you can let, help us. That sounds like a great yeah. idea. Um, Donna says, herringbone and all the variations. That's yep. what got us to also bring out the plate stitch, because it was, you know. Very similar. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Donna. And Sandra is here from Langley. What a pretty Halloween pattern. I'm not sure which one we're talking. Oh, this one. So yeah. it must be this Stitch one. This is the only one that we've yes. got. Yes, exactly. I'm not really, like, personally as um, hooked on Halloween as most people are. No, um, because you didn't grow up with Halloween. 
Exactly. So, yeah. I grew up, uh, well, I grew up mainly in Amsterdam. And then when I moved here with my parents, I didn't move here by myself. Yeah. Uh, when they dragged me kicking and screaming here is yeah. more like it. Um, <laughs> I arrived here and I didn't know what other people were talking about for a few years. Absolutely. So by the time I did Halloween, I think I was, I don't know, oh. 11 or 12 yeah. or so. And yeah. I only had a few years of it. And it never really, like... Be what what's the big deal here? Yeah. I can go buy my candy anywhere. <laughs> well, that's the truth. But also, it was having to go out at night. Yeah. At first, was really scary. In to a me. costume. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, I didn't have a costume because we were poor. And, yeah. You know, having all of a sudden having this whole thing, but it wasn't as popular in Canada. Even now, it's not as it, big it, a deal. It's not as big as it is um, in the U.S. In the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it has become bigger and bigger as yeah. the time went by. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm talking 50 years ago, so yes. yeah, uh, more than that now, I think. Yeah, pretty much 60 years ago. <laughs> Jeez, it feels like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, Halloween um, wasn't really a big deal either because I lived out in the country. Mm -hmm. I live in a um, grew up on the island here, so it usually was raining. Yes. <laughs> so. It was you put your costume on and then over top of it you would put a green garbage bag so you wouldn't get all wet so there was really like well why am i wearing a costume <laughs> that's a really good point i mean and also i can get not just raining but really cold really cold so you can't put on princess yeah, costume that's right exactly <laughs> so anyways um, yeah. I think Halloween is a wonderful, fun thing, and I remember it really well being an independent time mm -hmm. for children. They could get away from their yeah. mothers and fathers, and now, you know, there's this, like, everybody, all the fathers and mothers go with them. So. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not quite the same thing. as, you know, uh, when I was a kid, because, you know, you went out by yourself. Now mom and dad have to come along. So. Yeah. Things change. Thing, things change. Kathy right. Bird says she likes the idea of a stitch database. Yeah. I think that, that it wouldn't it be wonderful if Kathy Bird helped us yeah. make a stitch <laughs> database? Seriously. <laughs> this can be done yeah. from home. Absolutely. Does anybody want to, you know, contribute to the yeah. stitch database? <laughs> It would be so nice. It's just the stitches that we use from our leaflets. So. Yeah. So say we have a stitch in one leaflet even that's yeah. called something. Let's say it's the Montenegrin stitch, which I didn't use very often. Yeah. Then everywhere throughout all of the things that I've designed, it would be good to know that pattern also has a Montenegrin yeah. stitch. So I would think that if you were to do a database, it would have to be um put under the stitch names rather than under the pattern names or it has to be interchangeable well, it? exactly i was thinking if you're using excel you could have you know all the stitches going across and then all the designs going down and you just put yes 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 see she's a database girl yeah. <laughs> aren't you <laughs> So whichever way we could then like uh, cross, but then how do you get all of the stitches? Oh, you just go down or across e exactly. the columns. Yeah, I'm obviously yeah. Not, I love it. <laughs> anyway, it would be really fun if anybody really likes doing that kind of work. It's a huge um, contribution that would make to our little company. Absolutely, because it would be really nice to know. Oh, this stitch is used in that, 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 yeah. that, and that, right? And usually, you know, like with the Smyrna cross, you'll find used in everything. That's right. It's used in a lot. <laughs> I tend to use yeah. it a lot. <laughs> Anne says she loves those colors. I guess it's the Halloween. The Halloween. Pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, and or, possibly or Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving. Thanks, Juliet. Carol says, I have one started. I hope to finish it this year. This year, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Richo Piton says, Pico, again. Piton, yeah. Piton, Piton. Piton no. <laughs> 41, 45, great. Thank you, Jennifer. Hi, Thank June. You. Uh, June says here. Yes, she's here. Yay. June, it's been such a long time since you were at my last, no, my first class. And, Absolutely. And that was my last class at Fancy Yes, yeah, it was. I remember yeah, it was you well. fresh air, wasn't it? It could have been. Yeah. It was a real mm -hmm. not easy one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lisa was there too. And thank you, Rachel. Thank you. How, how would you know that my... Oh, because I was showing. Yeah, you were that. showing. <laughs> That's so cute. One, one thing that I found this time, we share a nail lady. Yes, Her we do. name is Je Jessica. Jessica. And I had been going to someone else much closer to me. And then when I went to Jessica, because I said, oh, I've got to go one more time, just, you know, because I was going to go and change. And she, I said, so what do you think of their job? And she said, well, do you see those little half moons of red there? That's where they dug their 
a Dremel tool right into the nail so that it touches the quick of your she said, that's not very healthy or yeah. good. <laughs> thought, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's not go back there. So now I'm back with her. Yeah. And uh, this one seems to have broken off. But there's even a little jewel on one yeah, of the... Yeah, a little sparkle. Yeah, a little sparkle, which I thought was really fun. Yeah. She, she loves doing stuff like that. She does, absolutely. Kathleen says the black lace was what sold me yeah. on the um, <laughs> Stitch and Witches. Stitch and Witches, uh, yes. That was unusual. Usually my lace is all white. Yeah. <laughs> and Jennifer wants to know about Scary Stitches. Doesn't that one use a book box or something? It yeah, absolutely it does. does. Very good. And actually, if you want to do the Scary Stitches in September, I recommend you all to go to your nearest Michaels or mm -hmm. online with Michaels. Yeah. They have these wooden boxes that... That look like books. They look a little bit like a book. And then you open the lid. It's like opening the front page of, mm -hmm. or the cover of a book. Yeah. And they're perfect size they for, for the Absolutely. Scary Stitch because that's what I used. And um, I ended up painting mine you with did. regular black acrylic yep. paint. You know, from the Michaels, like yep. the little bottle and stuff. And you, you did, and then on the side of it, you did white and then put some beige in it so it kind of looks like pages. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll show that to you next time maybe because we're getting closer to releasing it. Exactly, yes, we are. And um, Anne says, I was born on Halloween, but I don't like Halloween. <laughs> well, I can imagine your birthday is always on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. You missed your birthday. Everybody's giving you Halloween presents, yeah. I bet. <laughs> anyway, oh, Patty says yeah. that Edmonton had a parka over, over costume. costume. She has. Yeah. That's hard to see then, right? I guess that's why they do parties these days. Yeah. Inside parties. Absolutely. Kathleen says, my mom is British, so Halloween wasn't much for her, and we never did much. Of course, she was 14 when World War II broke out, so that affected <laughs> me. Absolutely, it was. Absolutely. But it's true. Yeah. If you haven't got that in your background, it doesn't have the same emotional mm -hmm. resonance. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, you can get the emotional resonance somewhat from other people. Mm -hmm. Right? And I see an awful lot of people really get into the motifs of Halloween, the black crows and all that. So... So that's why this one had the motifs. Yes. But it wasn't exactly the same kind of scary things yeah. that other people like to put in there. <laughs> I can't quite get into that. And Kathy says she's on board. Yeah. All right. We'll be in touch, Kathy. Thank you so much. Oh, and so same with Trisha. Oh, Trisha. Both of you are in touch. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Embarrassment of riches. Yeah. The two of you, be in touch with me. Just send us a, send me an email. And it looks like Dory, too. Oh, and Dory'd like to yeah. help. Okay, so this is really good. Because Absolutely. Because if there are a number of people, mm -hmm. because you need to have to look through the ones you've got so that yep. you know what's in there. And that would be just super. Okay, so we have to have one main database. Does anybody object to doing this on Dropbox? Because I can just add names to a Dropbox file, and yeah. then you can kind of, what do you think add, of that idea? That's a good idea. Yeah. I can actually, like, if you don't use Dropbox, you wouldn't be able to do it. But if you do use Dropbox, or you can mm -hmm. just download it, mm -hmm. you've done it. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. hard. Download it, and then I send you an invitation via the my Dropbox account. And that way, the database will be there, and you just enter and save. Yeah. And that's it. And then the next person can enter and save. <gasps> exactly. What a so project. we'll have to assign um, which leaflets. Yeah. Well, unless, you know, they go, oh, that leaflet's already been done. Cause oh, it would be in the Dropbox, yes. It yeah. would say either yeah. done or a star or something mm -hmm. or some way mm -hmm. we have to decide. Anyway, this sounds yep. really cool. Three people already. Anybody else want to be in touch? Exactly. Trisha says, ouch. Why are you saying ouch, uh, Trisha? I don't know. 50 live now. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jennifer Gowan. Yeah. June says, Crystal Blue, Deb Watterson. Okay. Yeah. Jennifer says, I have my book box. I work at Michael's, so oh. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for the pattern. Well done. How big a book? It's not an actual book, but the book is about, book box is about that way. I that actually size. have the uh, blank book box here. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll just go grab it She's out of my drawer. Grab. Mary Hawthorne, email me at taya at victoriasampler.com. Anybody who wants to help, taya at victoriasampler.com. 
have Dropbox fix their security issues? Well, frankly, um, I've been using Dropbox. I've never had a security issue, Tricia. So whether they have or they haven't, this one file is all I'm going to share, not anything else. So I'm be okay. Oh, fingernails. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, that would be great. So that's four people so far. Just email me at tay at victoriasanford.com and we'll get it started. Here is the this, book box. This is a book box. And of course, it opens up like that. <laughs> Actually, it's like if we put it level with our bodies, okay. you can see about how big it is. Exactly. It's, I think there are measurements on the side there. Is there? What does it say? I don't know. I have to put my glasses okay. off. No, I don't see any measurements. You don't have any measurements? Well, maybe it has... No, it has like a skew and all sorts exactly. of things. Exactly. It's my, by Art Minds. That might help you if you're looking it up online. It's by Art Minds. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's what? eight, Maybe 8 by 10? Something yeah, like that. something like that. And fairly thick. Mm -hmm. Like in this part. I would say about an inch and a half thick. Yeah, yeah. And so get it now while yeah. you can because this is going to be an awesome and it's going to be a book inside a little little yeah book. a little um yes right? needle book little needle book with stitches uh -huh. because they're scary <laughs> we tried to make them scary we did <laughs> the scariest stitches you can think of actually that is yeah. what what i tried to do <laughs> the scariest but i didn't include a pico yeah. <laughs> too scary so that's good yeah. So anyway, thank you all four of you who have contributed and if anybody wants to contribute as well. I don't know how many people I can share my Dropbox with, but I will if you really uh, want to really contribute. Because yeah. if you have a fairly big stash, you could look through your stash of the Victoria Sanford leaflets and then inside it gives you all the different stitches mm -hmm. in diagram form. Yes. Right? And then you just read the diagram and you go, oh, okay. There will be some rules. Yeah. But because um, uh, I make up stitches as well and you do we're, exactly. we're not really keen on yeah uh, the created <laughs> stitches when we say everything like modified we're going to have to make a rule about modified stitches mm -hmm. <laughs> yes i tend to do yes. a lot of that stuff. yes you yes <laughs> we, you do we want a yeah. straight stitch <laughs> even uh -huh. if it's over bigger and smaller yeah. but not where it's combined with other stitches <laughs> to form something completely new Except for sometimes I do like modified Smyrna cross just because it there might not all be over for fabric threads or something like that. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, you call them modified also? Yes. Even yes. though it's just a regular um, Smyrna? Well, say the main cross is over four, but you do the upright over two. Right. It's still a Smyrna cross, but it's not your normal Smyrna cross. So <laughs> We're going to have to talk to you guys. <laughs> We're going to have to make some rules. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're right. Things yeah. that are modified don't necessarily mean they're not good. They're, yes. Huh. And, you know, it'd be nice to know about those modified ones because if you use a form of that... That's true. Then you might not recognize that's it. That's right. Oh, no, that's yeah. still... <laughs> Okay, we're going to go crazy. We're going to go crazy, but it would be helpful. Yes. Oh, it would be yeah. wonderful. It mm -hmm. would be amazing. The kinds mm -hmm. of things that we can tell people, yes, now that you know this stitch, especially in That's anatomy, right. if you know this stitch, you can now stitch this That's design. That's right. It, yes. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I am so looking forward to hearing from you all. And don't expect an immediate uh, organization. It'll yes. probably take me within a week yeah. of organizing it. <laughs> But I'll respond right up, away. That's then, it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was our little shoe it, for yes, you today. Yes, that's right. Exactly. I guess it's getting on to that time of day where we need to move forward with other things. Well, I have a mail out to send out. Still. Yes, you do. Yeah. I created half of it. So, you guys, I think yeah. most of our new things are up. Um, but it won't show which ones are now PDFs. Okay. So we do ha actually most, we have two new creative designs up and you should be able to see them yes. as we speak. And one of them happens to be... <gasps> Stay home and stitch. Stay home and stitch. <laughs> <laughs> and we did Butterfly um, Biscor New as well. So both of those are under creative designs in the shop, which is under patterns and then creative designs. Or just to go to new and it'll be there as well. Oh, they'll be there. Exactly. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, are we brainstorming? I guess well, we are. I guess are. we kind of were. 
<laughs> it's what we do. Yeah, sometimes we do it and we don't even know we're doing it. It just happens. Uh, the yep. funny thing is that we come up with an idea and then we just like decide, yes, that's something that we need yeah, to do. We need to do. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is we have all these wishes that we want to do. Yes. We don't always get to everything. No. But, but maybe we, in the future we will. Definitely. Yeah. All the things are kept in the big black book of things never to be forgotten. That's right. <laughs> And we try not to forget them. But every once in a while go, what were we talking about earlier? <laughs> Damn, we didn't write it down. So <laughs> Exactly. Have a good weekend. I'm going to hunt yes. those Halloween and Thanksgiving. Thanks for visiting. And thank you yes. guys for visiting. You're Absolutely. awesome and wonderful. And I will put a um, little question on there for the techniques and yes. finishing techniques you might want to see on video. Uh, and send you a mail out. And you're going to do book work for the whole rest of the day, right? No, I'm not doing book work. Today is not my book work day. Yeah, so Today no is my creative day. <laughs> I just have to answer an email first. Okay, and that's yeah. it. And that's it. Okay, cool. Yes. Well, you guys have a great weekend. Yes. And you have a good weekend also with your day off anniversary. That's my day weekend. off on Monday. Dentist first and then the rest of the day. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Celebration. Well, it'd be nice to go to the dentist actually. So I know. Once, yeah. once you're done, it's fine. It is. <laughs> Yes. Well, I love you all. Thank yeah. you again for being here and for giving me a few numbers here and there. Appreciate it. And uh, your suggestions and ideas and attention are all just the best for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. So Happy weekend. Until next week. See you all then. Bye-bye.